Okay, so I got special messages for Ray J and Princess Love. I have saw some um, YouTube recommendations about this. So I said, let me check in. Let me see what they doing. So this is my request. I wanted to know if it was real. Was it authentic? Is this really happening right now? Is this just for show? Is this just for clout and attention? And all the things that the other kids say. Um, this is real. Yeah, this is real. Not only is it real, it's really been happening for a while now. Um, probably for the last seven months, they've been going through some serious difficult times. Same thing as always, Ray J want to go back to his old self, which he probably never completely left his old self. But yeah, this is real. This is definitely happening. Um, overall, this couple is definitely uh, teaching each other some lessons. There's definitely some iron, sharp and iron type moments going on. Challenge, challenging each other. Um, you might not believe this, but they're good for each other as far as healing um, because um, they are they're fighting they're fighting for perfection they're fighting for righteousness they are both fighting to have a perfect marriage or a great marriage or a good marriage for the perfect life they really really are fighting they, of course, got some fleshly things going on, some flaws and all. We know that. But spiritually, um, Ray J, very tender heart, um, definitely um, is open spiritually, desires to be a better person, desires to be a great husband, um, father, man, businessman. He desires to be great, but there is a thing in him. And there's that ego, the thing of not letting him see himself. Saying sorry is very, very hard for him. Very hard. Um, he believes that he's honest when he's not. He tells a lot of half-truths. And he believes that that's full of honesty. He kind of praises himself inside of himself a little bit. But other than that, he definitely desires to be a great person, and she knows that. She knows the best of him. She knows um, the deepness of him. She sees him in 2028. She don't see him today. Um, she sees the potential and the future husband that he will become. He will be a great at relationships one day. And that's why I think got them together and pulled them together is because she sees this greatness inside of him. And it's not just talk because he has made a lot of transformations um, probably in the last three to four years, three to four. OK, so he got like two to three more years of this behavior to complete the process. So he's he got a cycle here. He's looking at about two or three more years in healing and completely letting go of that person that she thought would never pop back up. But that's what happens when the work comes and he was so isolated from that life for so long, the taste came back. It's not even about women. It's about being noticed. It's about being known for being your own man, being your own leader. That pride is is, is amazing. It, it, it'll get you. So he pretty much got lonely because of the pressure of being right. He got tired of trying to do the right thing. He started to talk to himself and, and speak to himself in a way that it doesn't matter if you do right or wrong. You're still going to get pressure. I think he expected her to be perfect. I think he expected her not to ever complain because he had transformed from the biggest part of himself. He did do that. And he wanted to be congratulated daily. He wanted her to praise him for his big turnaround. Appreciate it, acknowledge it. Who wouldn't? But he wanted that to be enough to stop her complaints about his other flaws. 
Was she moving too quick? I don't know. Life was happening. Responsibilities is is everywhere. And when you're in the midst of having babies, then of course you want everything done now. She wanted to heal him quickly. She wanted him to process faster. And that's where a lot of her issues is at. So, Ray J. Ray J will be fine. Ray J will be fine. He is spiritually connected. He is um, covered. He is, um, he has a life ahead of him. He has transformation ahead of him even more. He got about two to three more years to completely find his identity and complete this cycle that he's been in. Um, from needing attention, wanting attention, uh, wanting to be the center of attention, wanting to drop into this life, other life, on and off to let them know I still got it. That will end or that will decrease in a larger way on the next round of this relationship. Let me tell you what I like about her. She's doing exactly what she should be doing, I'll say, when it comes to dealing with Ray J and his issues or flaws, whatever you want to say. But the only bad part about it is her approach. Her approach doesn't connect to him. Now, she has value. She has self-worth. It's in her. She had that before she met him. Certain things she ain't going to stand for. She's a tough woman. But her approach is what pushes him away. Because he knows she's right. He will actually verbally say it to her and to the world. You're right, you're right, you're right. But calm down. And... It's hard for her to calm down if she doesn't see the completion of what she's desiring. So she's pretty much saying to him during their fights, you're doing wrong. Don't do it. Stop now. And if he doesn't stop immediately, and then that's when that thing come out. That's when her issues come out. And she begins to blame him for the choices that she made to be with him. Because she want to see instant change. She cannot wait. She Leo. <laughs> she can't wait. And that's probably where that the social media thing came in at, of course. And now she could have did that a long time ago, but he always come in and meet the need. He calms her down. But this was just a time that... He couldn't do it. He couldn't calm her down. And she couldn't make him feel sympathy to stay. That's one thing about people. I was about to say a man. But that's one thing about people. People are going to do what they want to do no matter what. You can put them in rehab. You can lock them down. You can sex them up. You can do anything you want to do. But people are going to do what they want. And they both did what they wanted to do. She is always threatened to expose him, just like she exposed everything else outside of him. She's been threatening this on and off in every argument. I'm going to let them know that you're not as nice as they think. Because there is some jealousies here about the love that he receives and how he's so easily loved and um, be easy to befriend him. His laughter, his joy. He make people feel good. He make people think he's a he's a therapist in a spirit. He's a counselor. And people come to him for his help. And that makes her a little jealous sometimes. But that's just who he is. It's just a gift that he has. Can't be changed. He's wonderful in that area. And she's always wanted to expose him if he got out of line. This was going to happen no matter what. Now, Ray J didn't know that in the beginning. He found that out along the way, that not only he was in love, but he was being black blackmailed at the same time. She was always going to expose him. She was always going to show that he is not the reason why y'all like him. That's not real. She always wanted to show that. And... That's actually not true. It is real. 
his heart is real, his thoughts is real, his actions is another. But he is really a great person. But she wanted everybody to know his flaws. She wanted to expose expose his flaws if she couldn't control it. Is it to tear him down? No, it's to make him get his act together. And that's the wrong approach. But that kind of approach is going to help them get back together. Because he is going to behave. They're not breaking up. He is going to do some damage control over this situation. And I just pray that he do some healing instead. And it'd be really, really nice that he can take the next three weeks and really just sit in solitude and get the counsel that he needs and get that spiritual connection back that um, that needs to be increased or reconnected. He ain't that far away. He's fine. Um, he's a praying man. You can hear it. I can hear his prayers. I mean, I like hear his prayers like that, but I can feel his desire to be connected to God. I can feel that. But, um, yeah, if they both was able to get some individual counseling right now, it would really, really help. However, they're not breaking up no time too soon. They are um, getting back together. They, they, I don't see them divorcing anything like that. Um, I do this, think this separation is going to be a little bit longer with a couple of tap-ins. You may hear something like they got back together, and then you may hear something about them breaking up again. This separation is going to be going on back and forth for a while. Um, because he's going to try to hurry up and get back, and he's not really ready to go back. And she's going to be excited that he bowed down and humbled himself, and she's going to want to receive him back. But the lies of those two things and the untruths about that is going to come back out again. Will we hear about it? I don't know. I think we will. Because I see about... I see them breaking up back and forth. I see them tapping in and out like that ugly separation and then finally maybe getting back together. But we'll see. I don't see no divorce. I don't see no breakup. Nothing big right now like that. Um, I see a lot of exposure and a lot of hurt and pain. Um, he is stressing out right now. This really threw him off. He like, all my life, I ain't never had to deal with a situa- situation like this. Somebody trying to do this to me. But you know that what you put out is what you get. When you are so um, okay with spreading your business about others around and keep it real, goes wrong pretty much now in your life. He just didn't think it would be somebody in his household, that, in his bed that would do it. Um, he deserve. he felt like, he feels like he deserved what she's giving, but he really do feel like it shouldn't been out in the public like that. But if you think back to his life, he's done those type of things to other people too. He really have, but he just never thought it would be the person that he sleep with. Like he's always walked his life in the confidence of, I don't care what nobody say about me because anything they say, I can repeat it. But he was talking about people he didn't care about, like the one he was going to be with that night. He talking about people that he don't care about, people that he's really not connected to. He didn't care if the other women say something. He didn't care if other friends and foes said something. But this, he didn't think it was going to be the person in his bed. This cut him. This is serious betrayal. He will never forget this. She has done... The most, <laughs> this is the ultimate betrayal for him. Pride broken, exposed on an intimate level where it cares the most. Any other woman could have did this. Go down the line, pick anyone. He wouldn't have been mad at her. He would have hugged her on national TV and probably even gave her a check. He would not be mad at anybody else. But this is too personal. And what he want to do right now is do a quick 
uh, damage control. He want to quickly shut her up. He want to quickly um, get back inside the house, get back inside the bed. He wants to quickly repair things. Um, it's not even about if he want to go back because he don't want to go back, but he want to quickly go back and fix this to make her shut up and also emotionally hurt her in the process. Because it's as quick as he say, I'm back and don't ever do that to me again. He's going to say something to the next point. I don't feel like cuddling because of what you did to me. It will be reconciliation and punishment if they do it this way. He want to hold on tight to the family. He definitely loved those children 100% as well as her. But um, her approach is what he say that pushed him over, that puts him in a place where he don't care. He really feel like she's trying to take control of his life. However, he knew that from the chump. He knows he has a good woman because he really do. She, she has a great heart. She has great intention. He's more of the spiritual lead than she is. I got him open more spiritually than her. Um, she's confused about him. She don't know um, how to handle him and what to do with him because it's kind of like a mother-son relationship. She kind of just took the spot of his mother as far as uh, spiritual goes. Um, she got the same type of energy in a way. She's like, I don't know what to do with this boy. I had him clean. I had him covered. And now he's just out of control. So she's trying to find a way to get the baby back in line. So she's confused. She wants to help him. But she... um going to give him some time. She's not rushing to let him back in her heart. But she's going to break in a while too. See, he 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 broke already. One level of betrayal, he actually hurt for real right now. Because the person in his bed got him out of everybody else. So he already been broken and hurt right now. So he got some other levels of hurt to go, but this one he been cracked. She's in anger. She hasn't felt her hurt yet. Or the hurt. Hers is frustration and anger, and he know better. But if he actually hold out on her a little bit too long and do not return, then her hurt and pain is going to pop out. Yeah. But right now, she feels like the leader, and she'll be holding back as long as she wants to. She can punish him as much as she wants back and forth right now. Because his heart is hurting. So it's up to her and what she want to do. She can control the situation for a little while longer. But if she start to see that what she's doing, not causing him to react, make an action, make a phone call. You have to know what she was doing on that call. I mean, on the Internet. She was trying to get him to call her. She was trying to get him to respond to her, to call her, to run to her. That's what she was trying to do. It wasn't about being unconditional. It wasn't really about his safety. She knew he was safe. Other people called her and told her he was safe. It wasn't about that. She had to do something to win. She wants to win. She tried to get him to respond. So imagine what happens if he go the next seven days without responding. That's when she'll be able to see that this is serious and that she made a mistake by outing him instead of just walking away from him without anybody knowing. She actually called the world to get help on her marriage that day instead of calling 911. That's how she treated us. She treated the world like a 911. Ray J won't stop. Can y'all make him stop? That's what she did that day. He had got too loose. She's been seeing this from day one. She's been seeing him nervous, anxious, not comfortable, desiring to be back in that area, desiring to be back on the other side. She's been watching him for a while. He probably didn't recognize it in himself. She's seen him looking bored and uncomfortable. She's seen him. She felt him doing things to, to make her angry. You know how these men do sometimes. Start a fight on purpose. <laughs> she saw these little tweaking behaviors inside of him for a while. And she was always able to get him to calm down or to rest 
or to get back in his obedient line, I'll say. But this time, that night, she couldn't control him. He actually kept going. He actually kept going. He actually kept going. She could not get him to stop, stay, sit. She couldn't do that. And when he blocked her and blocked her for real, for real, <laughs> she called us like we was 911, like, come help. Ray J is not listening. All right, I'm done with them. However, this is this couple is very, very beautiful um, as far as spiritual. Of course, there are some toxic things going on, but the love is real. They have a really good connection with each other. Um, if they deal with a couple of their ego prideful issues and instead of making a promise not to do something, <clears throat> bring honesty into the relationship and um, take the process slower and more real instead of like this prison mentality thing that I'm feeling. You have to do this. You have to do that. And and also, I think that um, Ray J probably went what they call it, cold turkey. I think he tried to stop 10 things at one time and it got overwhelming instead of really, really allowing God to just take it from him one by one with his surrendering. He really like went boot camp style trying to change his life because he really do care about being a great husband and um, father. All right. Bye-bye.